Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian. I had a question the other day regarding eyeball removal in the dog. And someone asked me how challenging it is to remove the eye in a dog. And it's not challenging at all, it's quite easy. So I wanna kinda of break down what I do because getting the eyeball removed is incredibly anxiety feels for some pet parents because they don't know what to expect afterwards and they're really worried about it. And you know, I was I was first exposed to a dog with one eye when my brother had a dog named Eileen. She was the sweetest dog ever and she had one eye and she did really well. And then I started to realize that dogs with one eye or dog with no eyes actually do quite well. I have removed both eyes on glaucoma dogs all at one time because glaucoma is painful and they don't feel good from the glaucoma that's unfixable. So what you do guys is literally, I'm gonna break it down for you really quickly just so you have an idea what to expect. Now, in the veterinary world, we're removing the eye and we're suturing the, suturing the skin back together again. So you're gonna have fur all the way across. That way, you don't have any open socket, you don't have any fake eye there, you just have fur. And, and sometimes, if your doggy has long fur, it just hangs over the top, and some people don't even notice the eyes missing. What we're gonna do is, I like to suture the eyelids close, I like to cut around the eyelids. You must remove the eyelids because if you don't remove the eyelids, it won't heal, right? And then the, the eyeball itself is basically, think of it like in a capsule. People are gonna frown that phrase, but it's like I'm in a capsule, uh, the periocular tissue, and you're gonna cut all the way around, and you're gonna bluntly, which is just, like, just like the outside of your scissors, and sharply with your scissors, cut all of the connective tissue away, and you're gonna tie off any small blood vessels. Once you're all the way behind the eye, you're not gonna pull too hard because, because everybody, the optic nerve goes back, and it goes to the optic chiasm that crosses so the two eyes cross at the optic chiasm, and if you pull too hard, the optic chiasm will pull forward and hit the skull, and that could damage the good eye. So never pull too hard. Don't make the dog blind. So I don't pull hard at all. It's a gentle, gentle tension to get my instruments behind the eye to trim the eye free from the skull. Once it's free, guys, I put some pressure, I tie off the, the optic blood vessels, and then I'm done. I'm done, literally, super easy. I suture the fat over the socket, I suture the skin together, and we're gonna call that a day. That is super easy to do, and it's usually done in about 20 minutes. And the, the hardest part, guys, is for the pet parent, because you guys, or you're used to a dog with two eyes and it's stressful for you. I see the dog and I'm like, man, we look great, we're pain free, we're happy now, this is great. Um, but going home, I know some people really struggle with it. So remember, if your dog loses their eye from anything and they have to have it removed, they're gonna be happier. You care more than they do. And they're just happy to be home and be comfortable and be back in uh, an environment that is familiar and they heal. They heal in about seven days and they feel great then. And then everything's back to normal for them. And me and you, we're human. So we struggle with this kind of stuff, but they are happier and healthier. And um, in the long run, everyone will be. So I hope this is helpful, guys. Uh, removing an eyeball in a doggy, pretty darn simple. Most veterinarians can do it. And if it's something you have to have done, don't drag your feet because your dog in most cases, depending on what it is, will be happier and healthier without that bad eye. As always, guys, I'm Dan. I'm a veterinarian. I hope this was crazy helpful. You guys take care. Please share, like, subscribe, do all those usual things, because then when you do, it helps me to be more popular. And I'm not shooting for that, but it'd be nice. You guys take care. Bye.